good morning guys good morning now today it's day three at this conference imekuwa true 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 sana tume enjoy sana yani tume yeah it's it's a good four days to be away today is three days three day day three yeah imekuwa true true today tunaenda kwa bill graham um training center it's like kulikuwa na baridi sana so some people wakikuja hapa mountain they do hiking but this time loud kulikuwa na baridi so the program was to go to Bill Graham training center to learn so it's like a church in the mountain so at least to get to learn na iko na iko na a lot to learn but we didn't, we didn't have an exact time like a good enough time but at least stay tuned enjoy at least it's one thing you can come up in mountain and do it okay enjoy
Hey, um this place we could just go on like the it's like a museum or or it require like the learn to learn to run about the um like to add the this training center what they been doing what wamekuwa kufanya so the place was just it's a museum of um bill graham so people wa kuja kwa hii temple lazima wakuje huku basement waone whatever bill graham alikuwa anafanya because the place it's about the memory yeah the temple is about the memory kwa mountain so it was nice even though even though how we live more Okay even though to remember the story but lazima we saw me vizuri do uyelewe but at least ukiona hizi photos na venye umeambiwa kidogo na na the the assistants when you are go yeah at least maybe you can understand the whole story yeah so i hope na learn something and i hope one day you utakuja north carolina and you travel to this mountain Mm, unaweza tembea ya yeah, kuona mengi <laughs> about Bill Graham training center in North Carolina yeah enjoy
Tell your neighbor the word not. Bible says it is it, it is not God is saying it is not good for man to be alone. He provided a solution and make him a helper. Yeah. Suitable. Eh, you le mbaya wana farwa kwa makwa wana imarikana vizuri wana tembeana vizuri ahapo ndipo tuliingilia. Na nakwambia kwamba tulipo umbwa niambie mkono wa muumba ulipopitia kwetu koma. That's why we normally see when the woman comes. Let me tell you a few things about this creature called woman. Her name is woman. She's not a simple creature. They say we are complex, but we are not complex. Our complexity comes from God. Amen. Point number one, I want to let you know about you and I. Mm. We were the last to be created, but not the least. Yeah. We are the last to be created, but not the least. Yeah. Number two, immediately he created us. He closed the chapter of creation. Yeah. Number three, he undertook a long-term project with the woman in the act of creation. Yeah. We carry the children. Yeah. We carry the children. Number four, we were not only created. Look at me. We are not only created, come on, but we are designed. Yeah.
go, we looked at the ways of the Lord yesterday. I want to finish. And you are gender intelligence. Understanding who a man is and knowing who a woman is according to the word. And if we cannot be able to distinguish the gender, the two genders according to the initial design of God, then the world is lost. A man will never be a woman. And a woman will never be a man. I am okay and alright in my gender. Amen. Tell your neighbor I can fulfill God's purposes. It's a woman. Now this book will help you to have it. Just keep it there in the shell. One day your daughter, your son, your grandchild, a friend of yours might move around and find it. It's right there. And then the other one is a woman as a trailblazer. This is what I'll be speaking tomorrow about a woman as a trailblazer from the Bible and the book is behind there. The last book which is very key is The Boundaries. Why are we having issues with our children drinking and all that? Lack of? That book is important. They are at the back there. Now, we are now this morning going to see the second thing that you need to do because yesterday we only managed one for the interest of time and I praise the name of the Lord. The Lord used that time. He, he just maximized it and added value for the short time that we had to the glory of his name. I went, I went to sleep knowing that the Lord has ministered to my soul personally. He has lifted my faith and I hope he lifted your faith equally. And this morning, I want us to touch on the second thing that you need to do to enter into what we are calling the blessings of the open door. The blessings of the open door the, we are, is a certain kind of grace. Now this is a word I want you never to use as we go to this. The moment the Lord has put you on an open door and I borrowed the words of my sister here when she stood uh, Sister uh, Karel uh, Reverend, when she stood she said, there's no one time she will be called to minister and say no. That is a word that struck me first time you stood. Seated here. And uh, I was telling my sister uh, Maria, I don't know that it is Maria, I told her another one, that my air ticket by Thursday had not been bought. Because between January and March, the Kenyan shilling <laughs> went, was so weak. It's like if you bought the air ticket, you are going to buy it three times. And the money was not there. The circulation, you were feeling like we are tired. We didn't know where the money is going. The money was not circulating. I couldn't get the air ticket by last day. And to buy, to pay for the visa, it was around 30,000, 31,000. Just to pay. And then, if you lose your passport, and you shall not lose in Jesus' name. But in Kenya, if you happen to lose it, no English or not no English, you will recover it by 20,000. You buy, you, you have to pay 20,000 to recover a lost uh, passport. So, even when I didn't have a passport, I still told Dr. Njiru, Njiru, I'm still coming. Oh then the Lord performed a big miracle because the door had been opened. Mm. Now, first, the, the, the greatest miracle mm. is the door to be opened, Amen. not the ticket. He comes to provide that later. Mm. So the moment it was open and I didn't have a visa, it needed to be renewed. I was renewing it almost the end of February. And knowing very well, Dr. Jiro knowing the process of getting a visa by then. Mm. She could see, I, she could see here, we need a miracle. Mm. And let me tell you, the moment I filled it, I got uh, the visa within four days. Wow. I never visited wow. the embassy. Wow. I saw the embassy in 2017, but not this year. Today, when you are taking a visa in Kenya, you don't need to visit the embassy. Mm -hmm. You simply need to apply online and print those documents, take them to a company called DHL. Mm -hmm. Anywhere in Nairobi, in their offices, they are the ones to go to the embassy.
save on your behalf. Wow. Yeah. And they don't want to say whether you need to go for the interview physically or not. Wow. And they never found it important. And I want to praise the name of the Lord for this year for you. You are at us, never bounce. Amen. The invitation letters of KCFA, they never bounce to the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Amen. So, within four days, again, I get an email, come for your package. And I went for it. Now, it remained the ticket. And let me tell you, to the glory of God, as late as last week, Thursday, 4 p.m. I was buying the ticket at 4 p.m. And then Friday, good Friday, they are going to open on Tuesday and I have to travel on Monday. But you see, why, why did it I struggle? My husband, I'm going to get married, I'm going to get married, I'm going to get married. I'm going to have you succeeded? <laughs> In getting the ticket, Namabia to go to You know, and the Lord came the last minute on Thursday at 4 p.m. And let me tell you, my sister, by by Monday, around 6, I was already in the airport. Oh my God. Look at that. They have not opened the office again from Friday, but the Lord gave me that ticket on Thursday and Monday. I was tapping on the airplane. You know why? Can you look at me? Do you know why? The door. Was already open. Open. Yes. When the door is open, you operate at a higher dimension of grace. And the second thing from identifying and locating the ancient path, the second thing that you need to know is you need to locate and tap the grace to take you through the, the open door. And the scripture talks about this in the book of Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 9. The Bible says, still need my sister here. Hata itakuwa siku hiyo ya kwamba nita tafuta that is Zechariah is it 12. Uh let me see whether it is 9. Let it be 9. Thank you for the dot com pronunciation. Don't worry about me I'm calling it Zechariah. You can hear all the Kikuyu accent and the syllables. She's talking of Zechariah. We need all generations put together. Amen. Amen. That is 10 and uh, 12 and verse 10. That is where I am now. The Bible says, um, uh, in, uh, verse 12 and verse 10. Yes. Yes. Good. And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. A spirit of grace and supplication. They will look on me, the one they have perceived. Yes. And they will mourn for him as one who mourns for an only child. An and only child. bitterly for him as one grieves uh, for a firstborn son. Amen. On that day, the weeping in Jerusalem will be as great as the weeping of Hadadrimon in the plain of Megiddo. Amen. The Lion will mourn each by itself, by itself, with their wives by themselves, Amen. the clan of the house of David and their wives, the clan of the house of Nathan and their wives, the clan of the house of Levi with their wives, the clan of Shimei and their wives, and the rest of the clans and their wives. Amen. I want you to note a word there, grace. Samaritan grace. 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 Before I move on fast. I want to request you never to use this statement. Use another word. Say, for now, my time does not allow me. For now, my plate is already full. But avoid a statement that touches on grace. The more, and let me tell you, as I speak here,